Hello friends, my name is Nick and welcome to my apartment tour for 2023, or at least this home that lies beyond me here. I've only been living in this home for five months now, but if you've been following my journey, you probably know I haven't been having the best time with this space. It came with a lot of maintenance issues. Literally maintenance was here this morning, but that problem's fixed. So until the next one that is inevitably going to occur, um, I know I'm not going to be living in this space long term from all those issues. So I haven't necessarily done up this place as much as I've done up some of the places that you have seen in plant tour and apartment tours past. But knowing this place is larger than what I will probably be living in the future and knowing I'm just going to be moving out all this furniture, I think I've done everything that I really want to do with this space. There's a little bit of white space on the walls, you can see. Maybe I'd fill it up, but I, can't, I don't feel guaranteed I'm gonna have as much wall space in the future. So for right now, I'm just dealing with it. But as you can see, it's still really freaking cute. I feel like I'm talking it down. I'm going to let you know where most of this stuff is from. Everything that I remember to tell you where I bought it from, I will let you know. If you are curious about something, feel free to comment or just check out an apartment tour that I did in the past and probably remember to tell you where said item is from, unless the item is new which there's definitely some new stuff. So you're not just gonna see all the same stuff from before in a new space, definitely some new stuff. So keeping it fresh, keeping it spicy. So without further ado, let's go over to the front door and we'll begin our tour. So here's my front door in all of its glory. Just kidding, this hallway is like weirdly ugly compared to the rest of my apartment, but it is what it is. It is adorned, this hallway, with some Aaron Apsley prints, a Peperomia print, a Monstera print, a Calathea print, because I suck at growing these, so I'm glad that I at least get to see all of their fun foliage in my home, especially right when I walk in the door. So if I turn around, when you walk in my home, you get a nicer view than the front door, which is my kitchen. Also, I have my little mail slot, which as you can see is a little too full, and my little black cat. I love little black cat decorations because I have a little black cat myself. Here is Muffin. Oh, hello, sweet pea. Oh, she gets spooked easily. Hi, sweetie. Who knows what she went through before I found her. So when you walk in, you enter the kitchen area and it opens up to the right over to my living space. Muffin is going to go over and show you where we hang out. And then over to the left, is down to the bedroom and the bathroom and the laundry room area. So let's stay in the main room for right now. Also, full disclosure, I am not the cleanest person on planet Earth. I have my pile of crap. That's where I keep my very small amount of money that I have in bills because who has bills anymore, just in case anybody is, you know, trying to rob me or anything, just so you can know that. I have some plants up top. There's a skylight, which I really enjoy. That was definitely one of the selling points with this apartment. You can go over to it so you can look up into it. It's nothing special. In fact, it leaks if it's condensating. Sorry about that truck outside. We're just kind of dealing with it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it condensates a lot. You can see it's a little leaky. I kind of expected that. It's fine. That's not part of the maintenance problems that I experience. It's just uh, part of everyday life here. The kitchen itself is Pretty nice, honestly. I remember when I came to move into this place, I was like shocked at how nice the kitchen was. I did not remember it being that nice. Once again, not the cleanest person on planet Earth. I have a couple plants out. I need my shears. I need my candle lighter out. It's my microphone equipment that I'm obviously using right now. So yeah, kitchen, it's got some, I'm not gonna call it granite, but it's something, <laughs> countertop. And the tall ass, breakfast bar. Like, I can't even with this. It's so tall. Look at my stools. <laughs> Which I just don't feel like buying the correct height stools because, you know, like I said, I just don't plan on living here long term. So what's the point? And I don't even really hang out at the breakfast bar because I have my table here, which we'll get over to in one moment. If you just want to take another look around my kitchen and see that I have some fun philodendron on top of the cabinets. It also has like industrial piping, which I kind of really like the look of. A lot of the first apartments I lived in were like industrial loft buildings, like renovated warehouse buildings. And so this kind of gives me that same vibe of what I was experiencing in my late teens and early 20s. 
And also, you might have noticed that the walls don't go all the way up in my home, which is kind of interesting. So I am utilizing these ledges to grow plants. I leave that space open though because Muffin likes to hop up onto the counter, up to on top of the fridge, up on top of the cabinets, and up on top of there. And that's one of her favorite spaces to hang out. So on the wall over here, I have just this like stupid world map old print. It's like it's supposed to be like a world map from the 1800s or something. It's just like from Urban Outfitters. Obviously it's reflecting terribly. And my mirror, I love this mirror, but like I swear it's cursed. I got it from a thrift store here in Philadelphia and I love it so much, but yeah, I just don't feel guaranteed that it didn't like come with some bad juju, but still I love it. And my orchid mount, I made that recently. Oh, that's blurry. I made that recently for part of my houseplant tips and tricks series that I do with, oopsie, that's a little too far out, that I do with Rupami.com. I also have another one right here that one of my friends is taking. Um, the orchid flowers are sexy if they would, you know, focus. There we go. Anyway, we love that. Ooh, sorry about that. We love that. Um, also, my Schifflera Nova, one of my favorite plants, or actually I would say my favorite houseplant. We're not really gonna be talking about the houseplants today, but this one's worth pointing out, is shooting off some new growth, and I'm really happy that it seems to be enjoying its space here underneath the skylight. So just walking back over, once again, you can see from the kitchen, this is like where I'm at, the sink here. That's what I see. A lot of white space. I wanted to hang my, I have a shelf that I usually hang plants on on the walls here, but I've had one hell of a time hanging stuff on these walls. I cannot drill anything into them. I don't know what the T is. It's just like half an inch of drywall and then it's like concrete and I've tried getting all the drill bits and I just can't get into it and it's just not worth it at this point. I'm just gonna destroy the walls. Anyway, so what we were talking about this little dining area. This apartment's really, really big. I, I will say that, like my last space was like 600 square feet. This one's 900 square feet, which I really appreciate. This living area is giant. I'm not used to having like this much room in between the table and then this much room in between the couch area and then like this much room, you know, back here. I'm getting a little ahead of myself though. So we have my table here. So I got this table, I'm pretty sure from Wayfair or All Modern or Jossamine, they're all literally owned by the same company. And that's where a majority of my furniture is. So if I forget to mention where something is from, you can bet that that's where I got it from. The chairs as well are from Wayfair, I believe. I had two of them in my old place and I ordered two more of them for this place. And I was like slightly nervous that the model had changed like remotely after a year and a half, but nope, they're exactly the same. And I love it, I have my little candle burner. Just little glass that I got from my old work, Urban Jungle, because when I lived with my old roommate, we used to burn our candles over on the coffee table and her cat's tail was so long and it would like go over in front of the candle. So we were nervous that it would catch on fire. So this was our way of remedying that. And I think it looks damn good. Also these candles, literally the only candles I burn, um, Lavender Evergreen by Finding Home Farms. It is my signature scent. This is what I want my home to smell like all the time. Literally the best candle smell ever. I'm obsessed. The rug, I think that's just from like rugs.com. Honestly, I just had like a rug that looked exactly like this in my old place that was rectangular. And I was struggling to find a rug that I liked with this table and I had the rectangular one underneath it. Obviously it looked bad because this table is circular so it needed like a circular or square rug. And I just like panicked and ordered the same exact one in circular because I just couldn't pick a rug. And then I have my little bar area over here, which I love. This bar cabinet's new. I think that's from Jocelyn Maine. My snake plant next to it, very architectural plant. And my other little bar cart that I had in my old place. I picked this one because it has the perfect amount of space to hold like all my bottles on the bottom that are like a little too tall. And then on top, I can keep all my extra glasses because I keep a lot of glasses and although my kitchen does have a good amount of storage, it just doesn't have enough. This art print is just from World Market. I shouldn't, shouldn't say just from, an artist still made it and I love it. This is not like something I got from a fine art show or anything. Then this plant stand for the wall is from Urban Outfitters. Kind of gambled on that one, but I'm really happy with it. It's definitely not the highest quality though. <laughs> I have my staghorn fern. 
one of my favorite pieces to have up on the wall. I think every home needs a fern on the wall, particularly a staghorn fern, just really sets it apart. And my little, my little orange, I don't know. I just, I just love it. All right, now let's turn around over here. This is just like from Burlington, like it's, it's fine. I saw something on Urban Outfitters that I like, kind of like that was like similar and it was like way more expensive than that. That was obviously like minimal money since it was from Burlington. So it fills in the space perfectly. I don't hate it. I'm definitely talking it down, but it's just, I'm not gonna have it forever. You know what I mean? So this is like my office space. I guess that's kind of how I've delegated all my space in this home. So like this is like my dining area. This is my office space. Also, I have my mirror right over here. My mirror is from Wayfair. I really love this mirror. Some fun plants, the Dracaena. Oh, hello. Hey. My Dracaena Janet Craig is definitely a piece that I think is very nice and architectural for the home. And I also really love the what is that? The spring snow aglinema, also like a fake looking plant that I think every home would really benefit from. So over in my office area, I have my trellis, which I just did like the other day. I'd done it before, but it just looked terrible. And I wanted it to look great because I have my Soltec aspect light right above it, which obviously I want to display looking its best, which I haven't had a chance to tell you guys about my code. My code has renewed. So you can use code Nick2023 to save 15% on Soltech.com. I believe on any of their grow lights. I don't know about the accessories, but perhaps you can give it a try. And I earn commission from anything that you buy using that code. So that's a great way to support me and also make your space look fabulous. And I also don't think I've had the chance to say on here that I'm actually working with Soltech now. I'm their content creator. So if you go on their Instagram at Soltech or their YouTube channel, which I believe is also Soltech or maybe type in Soltech Solutions, I don't know. One of the two, all of the content that you're gonna see created on there is created by me. So if you wanna see more of me or if you wanna support me in my endeavor that I have going on with them, I would really appreciate you following us or checking out the content, giving us a like. It makes me look good. Thank you so much. But yeah, I, I really love Soltech. I've been working with them, you know, not directly for a couple of years, and I'm really excited to be working more directly with them going forward. So this trellis is looking fabulous. I've been like trying to utilize like fun ways to make the trellis more than just plants on it. In the past, I had like the little bits of Spanish moss on it, which I think is like a really great trick to make your trellises look like a lot more less man-made. But I'm also including the little mounted plant on it by just hooking it on with a little S hook, as you can see above, and sticking an air plant in there, which I guess technically this is an air plant as well. It's just dead and dried and I bought it preserved already, or I didn't even think I bought it. I think it was just wrapping in something else. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna use up anything that I can do to make my trellis look fabulous. Also, I have my YouTube plaque. I really wanna get this framed. It's just, it's so expensive, but thank you guys so much for following along. With my journey, I have my desk, which is from Ikea, the old iKizzle, and then my chair. I'm obsessed with this chair. I spent a lot of time in it, and it's like so comfortable, and it just like feels so classy. Um, I think that was from All Modern or Joss and Maine. Like I said, practically everything I've gotten is from them. A little cast iron plant on the floor. This thing always looks like crap, but it always looks like good enough to still hold on to. It puts off a couple leaves every year, loses a couple leaves every year, always has some brown tips. I don't know, it's probably from like the fluoride in the water or something, but hey, it works. So over here we have my living space with Muffin, Just adorning it for us right now. Lots of plants, less plants than before. I'm trying to do like, you know, just a couple of plants here and there, <laughs> a couple even though there's like 15, you know, before it would have been like every single space is full of plants. Now. I'm trying to do just a little bit less. So my couch is from Burrow. I really love this. It's pet friendly. So it's like scratch resistant and stain resistant and they mean it. I've had this thing for over a year now and Muffin treats it like a scratch post. Granted, it's probably because the only little scratch post I have for her is that one right there. And she uses that, she uses the hell out of it, but she also just has become a couch scratcher over the years and I can't stop her from that. So I decided I would just invest in the burrow and it really wasn't that expensive and it was totally worth it. So I highly recommend checking it out, B-U-R-R-O-W.com not affiliated with them whatsoever. But I really love how easy it is to move. If you can see, it's like in pieces. 
You can see, I talked about this in my moving video, I'm pretty sure, because I'm literally obsessed with it. And after moving it one time, I'm like sold. It was so worth it, because obviously I'm gonna be moving again. But I can also expand it, which I've been thinking about doing. I've been thinking about adding on like a corner piece and then maybe one other, like knowing that, like I said, I might not live in apartments that are that large in the future, but I could still probably fit like a corner sectional in a 600 or 700 square foot apartment. Uh, my pillows, those green pillows, or the, the paler green pillows are from Urban Outfitters, and so is the blanket, and the velvet green pillows are from World Market, which World Market has like velvet pillows for like $10 or less in every single color, so highly recommend that. What else is there? My rug is a ruggable. I don't know how sold I am on the ruggable. I mean, like, it's good, but I just like, I'm not like, a die-hard ruggable fan in the way that like all of my sheets are Brooklinen and like all my towels are Brooklinen. I'm a Brooklinen whore. I'm obsessed. So yeah, I'm not a ruggable whore. I can say that for a fact. My table is from Jostin, Maine. I really love the, the, the couch and the table together. The rug, we could, we could do a new one at some point. The chair is just from Wayfair. I feel like it's just like a knockoff version of like the like Joybird chairs that like you see in like every single advertisement. And the blanket, which I like a lot more than the chair, is from Terrain. I guess it could be fixed up a little bit. It's sagging a little bit, but um, yeah, Terrain is owned by Urban Outfitters, which I know we have mixed feelings about. I think Terrain just does a really good job merchandising. And every time I go to their store, I see something that I kind of have to have and it's hard to not leave without, and most of the time I will leave without it, but sometimes, like with this blanket, I have to have it. Zero regrets. So over in this space, this is like my trellis slash just like window area. I don't know, I have like the bench here, and I have my tension rods I talked about in a recent video. So these are literally just tension rods. They are not screwed into the wall or anything. I'm able to hang six plants on them. I probably could fit seven or eight on them, I just don't feel like testing the weight of these. I'm perfectly happy with the way that this looks with all of them staggered. If I step back a little bit, you can get a better view of the window itself and my whole space. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. That's literally stunning. Muffin agrees. Okay, so the tension rods are from Amazon. If you go to my Amazon like link, affiliate link that I have in my description, it should be somewhere on there. I have my trellis here, which is from Ikea, and the thing below it, which is my grow lights, I need to hook them back up. They're like just sitting on top of the planters because, yeah, they're not on, obviously. <laughs> I just need to like glue them back up. Anyway, I, that was from Wayfair. So was the bench, and so is this shelf, which I really love this shelf. I was purposely seeking a shelf that was like seven feet tall, and that was like a little bit more open, and that was wood and metal. So that fit all of the check marks that I was looking for, the check boxes. I don't know the phrase. The print, the poster thingy on the wall is also from Urban Outfitters. The basket was from Etsy. Fun little purchase and fun little way to display plants on your wall. The Evian bottle was from CVS. I used it to keep my moss pull moist. It's just my in-house Evian bottle. It's just really, really, it's the star of the show. This mirror is actually from Urban Outfitters, which I love the way that it pops on my sage green wall that me and my friends painted before we moved in here. Oh, Muffin just came flying up to the couch to say hello. She's probably gonna be following us around for the rest of this video. And just a little console table, also from Wayfair. This is where Muffin eats her food. She eats, she does her poopies, and she drinks in three different areas in the home. She just really seems to enjoy it. So I think that's the bulk of my living room here. I think I've pretty much touched on everything that has caught my eye. Walking back over to the kitchen and we are turning around slowly in case I haven't done that yet. Yeah, super cute space. You can see what I'm saying. It's freaking adorable. It sucks that I'm having all these maintenance problems and they're keeping me from wanting to stay here, but it is what it is. I'm enjoying the space while I'm here and just trying to keep myself from going freaking crazy. Oh, but it looks so good. 
Like, I feel like I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking at the space itself, but I'm like, it looks way cuter on camera than it does in person. The ceilings are fun. There's the track lighting. Yeah, there's a lot of character in the space. I really enjoy it. So I painted the green arch. I did not paint that wall. I was originally between painting the arch terracotta colored or sage green. And I went with sage green because that is kind of a warmish, beigeish, brownish color. I don't know. And then the floor is really warm, like really, really warm shade of wood as well. So the green, I think, just kind of cools down the space and also makes that color feel a little bit more cooler than it originally did without the green around. I did end up doing terracotta in my bedroom, so we'll go down to my bedroom right now. There's this long hallway here. It's a closet on the right. I have like little things of art. They're not really important. They're just like home goods art. This mirror, I think, was from Urban Outfitters. These, I think, were from a thrift store. Pretty good find, I actually like really love these prints. I also painted this arch. This is the only space, I should probably turn on some lights. It's pretty dark back here. Um, this is the only space that I could imagine myself doing. Oh my God, why not? Focus, please, come on. I'm, I'm believing you. Uh, you guys, it's just not happening. Oh, there we go. Um, this is the only space I can imagine doing something with. This is where Muffin takes her poopies and it's literally just garbage island, basically. But I was like, I could do like a litter enclosure and I have another Soltac aspect light. Use my code, Nick2023, um, and hang it down here and like have like a little bit of a plant display going on here. But, you know, I just haven't really been feeling like doing that yet. That's, that's a whole other space. I guess we can stop in my bathroom real quick. There's really nothing to see. There's the laundry right here, my little vanity area, laundry room, my closet's in here. We're not gonna go in there because it's just... And then my bathroom, it's gonna get loud. We're gonna get overstimulated, it's fine. Oh, so I have my curtain, um, my toilet is there if you really need to see it, um, mirror. I also had a really hard time hanging up on the wall. These walls are so annoying to hang up. I'm sure if it was like one of these walls, like this wall, of course I didn't hang anything on this wall, but I'm sure this wall is easy to hang in because there's probably no concrete in it, but any of the exterior walls have just been a nightmare. This bathroom just like makes me sad though. Compared to my last bathroom, it was so nice. And that was like where I feel like one of the biggest downgrades I had after moving, which I wanted to move here. I could have chose, I mean, I couldn't. <laughs> it was a little too expensive, but in the grand scheme of things, I could have chosen to stay. There we go. Ugh. Now our brains can think a little better. I could have chosen to stay at the old place. I would just have a lot less money, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and it felt worth it to move to this larger apartment, have more space, spend basically the same amount of money I was paying before they raised my rent at the old place. Oh my God, that's trippy. <laughs> yeah, it's just what we're dealing with right now. It is what it is. Oh, also my friend Marley made this. I'm obsessed with this. I'm actually seeing them in a little bit later today. So yeah, but that's my bathroom. And then my bedroom also, there's no door. There's just a threshold, which I kind of like because Muffin doesn't like doors. She gets really freaked out or like anxiety from them. Also, please don't judge my plants that are hanging up on the wall here. I like water them once a month and they just both look terrible. I'm a Peloton whore now. Can I say that? I already said I was a Brooklyn whore, so I can't really go back, but yeah, it's fun. Some of the instructors are painful, but some of them are really fun. And the ones that are really fun, I have such a fun time with. Yeah, uh, I also got it like $600 off for Black Friday, so it was actually worth it. I feel like it's probably not necessarily worth it if you spend the full price. Anyway, so this is the terracotta wall that I painted. I have my little firm prints that are also from World Market. Muffin's coming down the hallway. She's coming to see us. Her toys are everywhere, specifically here because she loves to bring the toys down the hallway at night and then she drops them right there and then she jumps up into bed with me, which is freaking adorable. That's where she drinks her water on the floor here. I'm getting really distracted. So the terracotta wall there. Also that wall was like so freaking dirty when I moved in, so I just had to paint it, whether it was white or orange. And then I did this wall here, which this one seems like I didn't necessarily have to do that, but I did it. It's fine. I think it was worth it. So we're going with like a more like warm tone. It's giving like Spain, like Spanish colors. I don't know. 
like not like the Spain flag. I know what that is, but like, I don't know. It's getting like stucco. I don't know. So my bed frame is, I think from Wayfair. I think so is the nightstand. The nightstand's honestly like a piece of crap, but I'm gonna, it's, it's, it, it fits, the, it fits the, the bed. I shouldn't be talking shit on it. I like the little pops of yellow that we have going on with the blanket and then the planters. Uh, the ZZ plant is over on this like lamp table, also not really the nicest piece of furniture, but you know what? It really gets the job done. Also, the ZZ plant seems to really enjoy it over there. It's like everything that's directly under the lamp is so green and lush. And then like the two, like I'm pointing at this, the screen on the cameras, if you can see. The two like over here and that little brown one are all, I'm sorry, assuming this one's going to turn yellow eventually the way that things are going, but all the growth right under the lamp is just like killing it. And it's not even a grow light, so don't really know what's going on there. Um, my Ikea shelves, I think these, I don't know if these are going to be moving with me. Like, I'm just so sick of these. I'm not going to lie. I've just had them for so long. It's just not my aesthetic. It's like the one thing that's not like the other in my home. But you know what? With all the grow lights and stuff, they really do get the job done. And then I have my window, which has a lot of plants in it. I have my Cebu Blue Pothos hanging up there and my Dracaena in the corner here. The TV there, which really is only used for sleep sound. The mirrors from Wayfair with muffin right under it. Hello, sweet pea. How are you doing today? Oh, she's just going to sit. I think that's the bulk of my apartment. Let's just come back over here so you can see the bedroom again from this angle. This is what it looks like when you walk into it. Ooh, those vines on the right, even though they're like half dead, still just look nice. I don't know what it is. My home looks so much better on camera than it does in real life. <laughs> All right, so I love that there's the windows. I feel like a lot of the time when you find these homes that have like the lofted bedrooms, like the windows, I'm sorry, the walls don't go up all the way. Usually it's because there's no windows in the bedroom. It's what I experienced in the past when I was living in those renovated warehouse places I was talking about. Also, nobody lives there. <laughs> People live up there, but they can't really see. That's the top of their windows. Nobody is like staring into my apartment day and I'm not staring at anybody's apartment. I've never seen a light on in there. I have never seen those blinds open. So that's cool. I wish I could get out there though. Like just like hang out there and just like sit in the summertime, but it's locked. I already checked. You can get up to the roof. I don't think you're supposed to though. So pretend I didn't say that. All right, we're heading back into the living room. I'm gonna give you one final look around the home before we go ahead and call it a day. Thank you so much for joining me today. Like I said, super cute space. Sucks that I'm having all of the maintenance problems because it is a nice spot that if I could spend years here, I would spend years here. That was my original plan when I found this place. But on to the next one eventually. Who knows? There could even be like some overarching reason that I end up having to stay here. So I can't even count that out, but <laughs> I hope not. Anyway, thank you again for joining me. I will leave, uh, well, nothing linked. I'm not gonna leave any of the products linked, but um, I will leave, you know, like my Soltech code that I mentioned. Speaking of codes, my Steve's Leaves code renewed for 2023, if you didn't hear already. So you can use code Philly Foliage to save 15% on stevesleaves.com. And both the Soltech code Nick2023 and the Steve's Leaves code Philly Foliage both earn me commission. So if you wanna support me and add some fun touches to your home, that's the perfect way to do so. So thank you again for joining me. If you don't already, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Philly Foliage. Subscribe to my Patreon if you want to support me monetarily and not purchase any products. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great time.